Okay, in this tutorial, I will show you how to create the exact folder, then exe and msi files using a j package from a beginning to end. So this is IntelliJ 2021.3. So we are going to create JavaFX project using Oracle JDK 17.0.1. Next, I will not use any dependencies. Finish. Okay, don't show tips. Close it. Okay, I will close it too. So let's have a look. This is um, IntelliJ ID 2020. 1.3 community edition so by default uh, this project will be uh, built with uh, maven it means we are doing uh, modular programming okay there's nothing much to change okay so just wait for a while it's doing uh, indexing with uh, jdk 17 and uh, resolving some dependencies. Basically, it's downloading uh, necessary files using Maven. Okay, seems okay now. Let me close it again. So now we are going to um, Go to settings, then look for languages and framework. JavaFX. Um, we are going to add SimBuilder. SimBuilder 17 is on the C drive. Users, your username, and then hidden folder called App Data. So let's turn it on. Apply OK. Look for App Data. Local folder name is um, SimBuilder. Okay, let's copy this path. Okay, we are going to use SimBuilder.exe. Paste it. Then, when you open it, it will direct to that folder. Then, we can select SimBuilder.exe. I find this way is easier to locate some builder. Apply, OK. So let's open an XML file in some builder. It's a simple demonstration. So let me make a minor change to FXML documents. So if you look at here, V box looks quite small. So let me uh, adjust the size. Preferred width and heights, I will change to 600 by 400 pixels. Okay, for button, I will change the text to be uh, Java FX. Hello world. Let's save and return to IntelliJ. Build project. Then you can run it. Edit configuration, add new configuration application. You can name uh, as a app JDK 17. Main class is hello application. Apply. Learning. Okay, this is the one click. Welcome to Java FX application. So this is how you can create a simple Java FX application using SimBuilder 17. Next step, uh, I'm going to remove uh, model info Java 
for non-modular programming using leaf vector delete. Once you delete, go to project structure. We are not using uh, Maven, so let's remove it all. We can add the SubFX chart while by ourselves. Uh, in my case, it's on the program files, Java, JavaFX SDK 17.0.1.2 library directory. OK. Just make sure you point to library. Apply. OK. Now your project can use uh, external JavaFX library. Let's build. OK, it works. Let's try to learn it. OK, JavaFX runtime components are missing. So we need to use um, VM options when you run this project. Let's go to um, Edit Configuration. OK, Add New Application. Let me name it as App. Here, main class, hello application, same, OK. Modify options, look for add VM options. So we're going to type model pass to uh, JavaFX SDK library. You can copy, paste, pass to uh, JavaFX library. Copy. Paste this interval quotation, then add modules. We are going to use only two modules, JavaFX controls, and then JavaFX FXML. Apply, OK. Let's try to learn it again. OK, as you can see, we are using Java. And then with additional model paths to um, run JavaFX controls and FXML. So here is the one. So we can do non-modular programming. OK, now next step, let's create an executable jar or runnable jar. Let's create a new class called app. Then we can call for main method belongs to hello application class arguments that's it this is what we are going to use for uh, executable jar okay we are calling for this main method project structure artifacts okay add from module with dependencies. Just make sure your main class this time you select app. OK. Now we are going to use a file. On the binary, we are going to select all uh, DLL files. Apply. OK. And then let's uh, build artifacts. By default, it's going to create a folder called out. Then uh, there will be a jar file on the project name. So there will be a project name open in uh, Windows Explorer. Inside, you have uh, JavaFX Hello World you can double click. Here you go. Now this is how you can create an um, ejectable Java file. Then you can distribute it with the Java runtime environment. To produce a exe.msi, we need to have Mod.js for Java Apex and then Wix uh, toolset. You can go to um, Colon's website. It comes with a JavaFX SDK. 
windows x64 so here is the j modes that's the um, native libraries and then packages of uh, JavaFX you need uh, j modes to to produce uh, exe or msi uh, file out of the JavaFX uh, application so installation is straightforward you can unzip to your C drive in my case I'm going to keep it together with the program files Java this is where I keep Java FX SDK so I'm going to keep the same uh, J modes for Java FX 17.0.1 so here you go we need a uh, Wix toolset to produce native package in uh, EXE or MSI from a self contained Java application or Java FX application using a J package of uh, JDK. So let's um, download. Installation is uh, straightforward. If you go down here, I'm going to download Wix 311.exe. Run it. Installation might be a bit slow. Um, basically, just copy everything to C drive, uh, program files. Complete. Exit. You need to um, copy parts of uh, install directory. It's on the C drive, program files, X. 86 folder name is Wix toolset 311 binary this is the path you need to copy so that you can set it as a system variable properties advanced system settings environment variables under advanced tab we are looking at pass edit you can create a new and then paste it ok ok let's continue with the previous example so we have a java effects hello world java file here Let's open it in the uh, terminal. Then we are going to use J package to produce self contained Java applications. They may include all necessary dependencies. So, Java package. We can use the type uh, .exe and the input that reports to current directory. Then uh, destination uh, where we like to uh, save our application.exe current directory and the main jar on the current directory we are looking at javafx hello world .jar. the main class happened to be uh, javafx hello world app 
on the package. So you, you have to type the name of the package. Come dot example dot Java FX hello world. And then name of the class is app. Then we are going to use module pass. This time we are going to use um, Java Apex J mode. That should be on the C drive. Okay, this is the one. Copy. Paste it. Then add modules. I'm going to use uh, two of them, Java FX controls and then Java FX FXML. We can have a Windows shortcut on desktop. Also, we can add our application to Windows menu, Win menu. That's it. Enter. It will take uh, for a while because we need to copy all those necessary files. So let me um, wait and see. Okay, once it's done, that prompt will change back to those prompt. Okay, here you go. You can click the uh, directory. Then it will show you uh, apps. Okay, app dash 1.0. File default, uh, that's what we have. Open in Windows Explorer. Okay, on the same directory. Now you can double click to install. It will take a for a while. Uh, it's going to uh, copy everything to C drive, program files, and then we create the one directly called app. Then uh, copy everything inside include DLL and then a library of uh, Java FX and then Java library so you put it in the package as well so please wait okay seems like it's done let's go back here you go app Okay, launch the apps. Welcome to SubFX application. Okay, seems like working. Let's look at uh, program files. App. Here is the dot exe. Runtime. This is what we included in project. And then app. Here is the uh, Java. Let's go back to um, settings, apps, apps and features. We should be able to uh, uninstall. So here you go, app 1.0, uninstall, uninstall, done. Next step, uh, let's see whether we can create the MSA file. Okay. I use the arrow key, move up, so that it will bring it up the previous command line. 
Now we can change to MSI To make some change, I uh, will use another option App version will be uh, 2.0 Okay, so app-2.0.msi will appear Okay, again I uh, will take us for a while Okay, let me just click Now we have a app2.0.msi Okay, this is how you can create a EXE and MSF installer on Windows Let's try to add our own icon So let's use arrow key, go back to previous command line And here we have an option called icon And uh, name of the icon is icon.ico You can convert um, image to icon file uh, There are many services available online for free So name I will change to my app instead of app so once it's done, it's going to create my app 2.0 MSI. Okay, that's what we have. So if you want to see um, whether you have your own icon or not, you need to open, then install it. So my app 2.0 MSI. Let's install it. So now we can see that my app is added to menu Then here you go and Let's have a look Okay, we have a new uh, icon, my app And the new application name as well Show more options Properties now is uh, installed under my app folder So this is a kind of minimum things you can customize it That's all, thank you